Uh, start recording. Okay. Anubis. Is there go. a way to like full screen this? If not, that's fine. Bottom right I hand, know, I this, think. This, this was my first no, game in know. like eight days, so I was playing like a. So we're on defense. What do you think of our call? Oh, so this bunker. Um. I. Yeah. I'm a per I personally like having Mercy over Ana, Bunker. Just because if the Bastion dies, then you have Bat Batiste for the mortality field to protect the Mercy and get the res off. And damage boost is very good to our Bastion to charge his ult and maybe get just do more damage. But besides that, everything else is fine. You could get hit scan instead of junk, but honestly, it doesn't matter. Pharah on this map with the Bastion, the Bastion can totally counter it. So I assume they go right side, yeah. Maybe Arisa could have went for a pull there to try to pull them out while they were trying to go in and would slow them down. Bastion would, could have gotten it. This seems fine. The mortality field's behind the shield. So, oh wait, maybe. Oh no, just a kid. Yeah. This all looks good. Before they pushed, we you could have used Batista. That could have scared them away, but at the same time, that's true. But at the same time, <laughs> Kayla picked off the Sombra. Okay. Yeah, this is all fine to me. I mean, obviously you're winning, so I guess that's why I think it's all fine. But anything minor you see? Besides that demon Maybe. play. Uh, you got back up. That's honestly fine. Yeah, no, I was trying to get bomb quicker. <laughs> what should we do? This is a... Okay, first of all, they used a lot of ults. Actually, no. They actually they did nano blade in EMP. Here. Yeah, no, um, there's a. I don't know if this would have helped too much, but there's a very specific technique, I guess, to Batiste, where while it's in the air, it can't get hacked or EMP'd. So, if you hear the trans, the translocator, then uh, you just throw it upwards. It'll hit the skybox. It'll fall back down, and you still have the mortality field. Yeah, Lucas talking though, about that. Though. The thing about that is that they use Nano Blade, which literally you can just slash and dash. So you think there's no counterplay there? Still gets a huge shot well, or a bomb. But we can't win. Yeah, you guys didn't have here. any. Don't have any defensive ults. It, it just would have been really hard to counter that. Yeah, because like I think Genji Sombra really or like the dive variation of that really counters hard. Yeah. Because even if we had a defensive ult, the EMP would just negate it, unless we used it reactively, but then they could just wait. You can time your Bastion ult too, right, when you hear the translocator, because hack, because EMP actually doesn't stop tank mode. True. Compared to like, high noon and stuff, which actually does. Yeah, they just wa they just went through the shield. I think that was a bit oh. obvious. There, there's no way you could have. Hold on, I'm trying to think what would be a better position. You could have uh, maybe held like. I, it's hard to describe. Maybe that like bottom right corner of what I'm seeing right now, like the corner that you as maybe deal. Yeah. Because it's a because the shield kit ki covers it all the way, and uh, and since he had a bastion, if Ryan tried to 
if Ryan tried to like get in there, Bastion could easily melt him. Well, they could have, they could have DM'd that, but like, still, it's you, it's it, you can't really shatter it if you're very stuffed in a corner. Let's see. But at the same time, it's just this comp. It's just Sombra can counter a lot of comps mm -hmm. because even if you won that fight later, Sombra would have just got it. How do you suggest we counteract the Sombra? Because we, we had two issues today, Sombra and, what's it called, Sombra and Bunker. We couldn't deal with either of those very well. I, honestly, my best way of countering it, <clears throat> which is, is having a defensive ult and, and that support hides. So, is like, that the only way? Like, if, if you had, like, a Lucio or, if you had, like, a Lucio or Zen that was, like, behind, like, here, go back to the second point real quick, second if you point. don't mind. Here? Oh. Uh, just go a little bit more back. A little bit more back. You... Here? When you guys... Yeah. You see you see that uh, the back part? Like, the back part where you can hide? Over like, here? Like, behind the point. No, to the left. Like, the little thingy. I don't know what that's called. Yeah, in there. The thing is, a support player could easily just hide in there. True. Or hide at the at the corner that you were just looking at when No like the over there the near the spawn door, yeah. You could hide like a support player like a support a off support mm -hmm. could easily like hide behind one of the two pillars or that pillar there or behind, behind the point. Mm -hmm. So when they EMP'd you would have been totally free to still beat or trance. That is honestly the best way to counter. It's just because it's just the thing about Sombra. It's just at at her core, literally, it's just AOE EMP. It's just AOE hack. Um, I recommend having Mercy over Ana. You definitely like by far Ana and Mercy are. The best combos or Betty's combos best with best with either Ana or Mercy. Okay. Um. So, so Luke should try to, or the Betty should try to throw it up in the air, just as like to buy a little bit of time, and uh, most of the time Mercy can get Valkyrie off. And if she gets Valkyrie off, then she won't die from the Nano Blade, and if and if someone. Uh, very important dies and they can get the res off. Yeah. And also, uh, you don't bash. I don't. How do I like say it's just you don't for bunker. You don't. You don't have to always go bastion or always have to go uh, Batiste. They're very, I mean, obviously they're really good, but like, I personally like believe on a, on something like Temple of Anubis where there's plenty of ways to go to the high ground, you could have, you could, it could get countered really easily. So, yeah, Mercy Bap probably yeah. would have been fun. I th yeah, I think we could have ran Mercy Bap, like you said. But then we so had... That uh, damn, the... Go ahead. We had uh, two hit scan players in Ben and Caleb. So, and it's kind of difficult to find a, like, a happy medium where they can both play the hit scan heroes that they specialize on, right? Yeah. So we decided to put Caleb on Junkrat because like, it's probably the easiest to adapt with. If you're a hit scan player, and yeah, it's it's more cross. It's more it's more spam. Yeah, and then Wait, we just we, we selected the Bastion because Ben's hero pool is like a lot of close range hit scans or like closer range. I guess like McCree or Tracer. Okay. He, he could have played Widowmaker, I think, but these guys ran a very adequate dive. So if they ran dive, then we probably would have gotten shredded immediately. Yeah, that's true. I don't like. I personally am not a big fan of having Widow, unless if you have like someone like Mercy, to really help out. But that, mm. 
that means you don't that means that you'd have you're sacrificing a lot more heals because you kind of have to have like a um what's it called a uh defensive vault and all that and you can also consider having dps that uh, that are very zoning too <laughs> Alright, it, it happens to the worst. That sucks. So, let's see their calm. They're playing, uh... Okay. This is... <laughs> Yeah. It was unfavorable. I'm try it's hard to like try to judge what's happening when you're trying to fight a 5v6 where you're already like expected to lose the fight. Yeah. So Jocelyn gets knocked all the way here. I don't know how. Oh. Oh. He puts himself there. Okay. <laughs> That's, That's unlucky. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, just the I personally don't see the reason to go Moira Guts. Um, it's because Moira has a lot. Oh, I personally think playing like a different hero, like, someone like Ana or Zen, just has more utility. Did you see that? Wait, it... hold up. Also, you think playing like Ana or something would have been better? In my opinion, I think because they have an Arisa shield and there's a lot of like environment, I guess you can you can get cheeky nades on walls and stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, I feel like in this map there's a lot of random, not uh, a lot of like arcs, I guess that if they, like that you can just nade, have like really good nades for, and if you played Zen. If you got a successful discord on the Arisa just by spamming the shield and so, getting a discord off, the Ryan could push it in and just get him well. Yeah, go for so it. So back here, our Ryan gets walled off and we manage to counterplay because there is a short thing yeah. right there. But how do we like deal with May walls in the future more effectively? Because I know there's like this thing at pro levels where you focus each of the columns. Yeah, each pillar only has 400 HP. And the thing is, 400 HP isn't a lot if you yeah. tell your all of your team to shoot it. And so you you should always call out what pillar to shoot at. It's hard to like call it out, but mm -hmm. you can just do main like middle or left or right, which means far left, far right, or the center. Yeah. And that's that's the only way to do it. Mm -hmm. Also, if also if you if you you can try to stick with your rind very closely. So if they try to wall it off, they will only they will wall off like three of you, which is enough for you guys to like, sustain and not. Get so is that there gone. any way we could have like won this fight? In your eyes, I'll be one more time. Sorry, yeah. So you went wrong. You Sorry. could have prioritized the May. I guess because she had no cryo. Mm -hmm. Um, so if we just like prioritize them, wait, we could have snowballed wait, that. was there any, was there any ults that you guys used this fight or was no, it just- No, we didn't have any ults. Like gaining ult. Oh, we used ma more ult. Well, okay, that's fine. Mora, you always use it at every team fight. Um, I mean, they used two ults, so they kind of had the advantage. Hmm. Just because they used alts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything wrong there. It's just they yeah, they just had way more damage because they had the like, Cog and McCree with the Bongo. I see. So... And Batiste ult too, so they used a lot of damage ults. Okay, now more thinking about it. Uh, it would have been nice to see a, a Zen over. 
a Moira just because another defensive ult always helps. But then again, like, no offense to Luke, but he's very limited when it comes to flexibility. <coughs> yeah. Also, Pierre, that's why we needed you a bit earlier. So we could, so we um, have the flexibility yeah. to play like design on a. I wasn't even home until later. Oh, okay. I'm lucky. That's all. Uh. So wait, what? So wait, was 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 this always goats at the like from beginning to end? And still with it, okay. <laughs> um. Fight the mail here. That's a goodie. Um. Uh, we, we, do you think we should have punished the May or we should have stuck to our rotations? Probably punish the May. You guys have a lot of sustain with Brig. That probably wouldn't have died trying to do it. Ryan could get an easy shatter if he just walks through the shield and shatters. Use three tank ults there. All right. Um, my opinion, the order is always Ryan, yeah. then Zarya. The the only reason behind this is because so you can get shatter again. Yeah, and and Diva Bomb you could. Hmm, I'm trying to think. So, uh, because yeah. they have an Arisa shield, once you see they place a new shield, then you could, like, uh, ult behind the sh You just, no, you just, like, well, yeah, but, like, you could also just bomb behind the shield, and then uh, let the, and then once, and they ha they'll have to, like, move to a certain place, and then the Ryan can just go in there to where they're, they move to. Also, we have, like, a problem with communicating our ultimates. Is there like any way you think you can think of that would make it better besides constantly ask like is there anyone in particular you think should be constantly asking or constantly tracking? Um <laughs> Holding tab is obviously you can use tab to look at ultimates. That's pretty good in itself already. But in general Whatever role you're playing, you should try to like always keep track of what ults your uh, the other part of your role is playing. Like if you're main tank, then you want to make sure you want to know the ults of your off tanks. And same thing for healers, same for DPS. So I want to look at DPS in the player. So I think our Ryan Zarya gets walled off, and then Ryan makes a really bad rotation, and I want to hear what you think would have been like the right option from the team behind the wall or the people who are actually rotating. So Ryan's already got walled. Okay, this was... You guys could have tr definitely destroyed the pillar to help, but I think the thing we, I was think I that... Did, destroy the pillar. did you like communicate it saying I didn't like... communicate, I just focused the middle one by myself. That was my bad. No, it's all good. But, you know, communication never hurts. Yeah. And it and it's, it always helps extra. Focus on because the if you... Yeah. Was there a better so, rotation you could have gone through? Because I know he, it looked like he was like kind of forced here. But I know you can like jump on this crate if you jump crouch. Um, like, but then he'd have wait, to like, so like for the Rhine? Time. Yeah, for the Rhine, because Rhine got moved out of position all the way to over here, and then he rotated to down here. Also, I think we could have saved him if we just followed like to wrote the rotation. Uh, so you mean when they may wall, you guys rotate, and the Rhine goes to where you're yeah. rotating? That definitely could have work but it does take a lot more time than you think because the thing was sure. it was very hard for your Ryan to survive just because they have a Farah mm -hmm. concussion and that just is powerful in general yeah. but you there is a thing where D.Va goes in first because if they wall off D.Va, D.Va can literally just fly over the wall back but also it's just okay, Luke did, was doing good trying to target that 
You think we should have fought this? We were down one, and we used all of our ults. Wait, you you were down one before no, the fight started? No, Ryan died while using Shatter. Uh... Was it you guys got a lot of point? picks after... You guys got a lot of picks afterwards, I think. I don't know what happened with you bombing the bridge. Oh, I tried drawing bomb because we graphed. But then I got demect early before I could even press the Q button. Uh, I was trying to time it with the shift. I saw the, the somber goat, would somber goats have been viable here or should we just flop off of goats entirely? Somber definitely can... Oh shoot, okay. Maybe not. Uh, Maybe not. Sombra... The problem is like... I don't know how to say it, but... Even if they all get EMP'd, they yeah. can all generally stay alive because they can hide. They can use like cover to hide. Okay. It, so I'm trying to like think. Um, I I felt like getting a good counter for Farah is honestly not a bad idea. So like we should have ran like McCree codes or an entirely different comp around hit scans. <laughs> I think you should have had something that complemented a um, gr grav combo. So like maybe a Hanzo? Yeah, like something like Hanzo McCree and just normal 2 2 2. I see. Because the thing is, they have a mortality field, but in general, you can basically destroy it really quick. Like if you all move up at the same time, the Ryan can just swing into the group to get Shatter and hit the thing at the same time and and when everything else is dead mccree can just easily kill the fair just because mccree has that advantage hmm. yeah oh no it's all good i don't really have anything to do also, like, fair, or I, I believe that if the, what's it called, if the Sombra played more on, like, the, like, pillar high ground, I guess. Like, that, like, the pillar that has the little thing on it. You could hack the Pharah and just completely make her useless. Because hacking the Pharah is not as, is a lot easier than, it's really easy. Just because, like... Just because she's like flying and like not looking for a Sombra behind them or next to them. I think closer. The thing about you guys being rolled is just it's just more like team comp stuff. Like like what I said like sometime earlier, the statue allows the enemies to not be able to shoot at your mortality field because it could go around the the cover of the base of the statue. So you could have a bastion that's just full rain, break their shield, make their Risa have to back off, and then once they all back off, wait for their abilities to go down, you can just go directly onto the point. I probably would have stuck with just May Goats, like what they have. Um, Reaper doesn't find any value when they have a lot of CC. With just Brig and May. It, just cause like they can like help themselves out. Uh, and stun you and prioritize you like. So if Luke First of actually, all, Luke, yeah. Luke should have got a successful May wall off. That would have made this fight much more favorable. Uh, yeah. Um. But just Reaper can get really punished in yeah. goats. So the plan is like we wall them off, and then we just shred them with all the damage we have with Reaper, and then Reaper helps clean up too. Do you, would you, yeah, that's fair. Does that work? better than Megoats, or do you think Megoats would still be better in this scenario? Um... 
the thing is, is instead you, the thing is, it's because you, first of all, you guys don't have a brig, which already puts you guys at a disadvantage, just because brig is the reason why goats is so good, just because of so much damage and healing at the same time. I think this comp would have been better if one of the DPS went brig, which would have been Reaper. Because May, yeah, I think that's the reason why. I mean, you're winning right now, so I don't want to say that's the reason why you're losing, but rather like it could have been much. This could have been much better if we, yeah, cleaner. It would have been much more better if you had a brig, just because brig can give so much heals to the team, and and if and you guys can like target people based on like who you stun. So we do want to try running this comp more on this map in particular, mainly because our goat to goat matchup is normally very weak. <laughs> so like, is there anything you could think of that would make this comp like stronger, or if we played it a certain way, we'd play it, we'd like win more fights? Like in this map? No, this is generally what you want. May guts could work on king's row if they play in a certain way but that's just hoping and that's just not what you're supposed to do um luke definitely should have been able to play some kind of wall there when when one of them ha was forced to touch should our lucio have beat there when they blizzard because she saved um, Lilo, i don't know why it got like four of us frozen. I think. Wait, didn't she like? I'm trying to remember if she died before the blizzard. Sorry, if you could, can you go back to when? She's all the way back there, not frozen. Yeah, could have. Yeah, definitely. Should. Well, you guys didn't really die by the blizzard. I guess. But she, but it would have been much easier. Actually, no, she should have definitely done it just because it's, it's just because you guys were taking a lot of damage anyways, and it would have really helped out. And this is all where it goes back to like having a brig, just because brig yeah. is another good, very good source of heals and burst healing. If anyone is like was like low in like the blizzard or something. Like that, and yeah. Let's see, somber goats is very rough in here because they can play very in inside on the point. Yeah. So if you so if you want to like try to like EMP them, they can just use the cover. But I see. Obviously, Magoats would have been good here, but the problem with Magoats is once you don't have, or like once they have the point, it's really hard to take it back. Just because you don't have like a diva to help you dive, and you have a May instead, which you can't really wall them off because they're going to be on point first because they're already capped it. And to answer your question about Sombra. Um, obviously, it would be, in a perfect world, you'd love to hack the tanks, but that is hard. Generally, it would be, I'd say Lucio, just because if he has a beat, that's really good information, because... I want you to, like, tell us how or why. Oh, okay, I see why. <laughs> Jake had the shield up. Yep. Like... Okay, Luke was fine rallying just because it's the last fight, though. So, was that, like, mainly on the Reinhardt? Yeah, not gonna lie, antis are very strong. <laughs> <laughs> like, we got four in the beat, that's nice. Always try to call out when someone's ability is down. I get stun locked there. Yeah, th this was very unfavorable because they're all basically there, mm -hmm. and they all have, a and so, 
You guys are slowly trickling in. Wait, I also want to see. Unless one if you guys had like a lot more ults, then it would have been better. But it was just hard. Get picked when we grow up. Oh, we, why didn't we beat? Huh. Okay. In my opinion, the most, or not opinion, but it's, yeah. I think it, there's actually like stats on this where the most, ex, the, a beat that ma that makes you, that, I don't know how to say, like, a, I guess a beat rate, or like a rate of uh, how you win, when, like the best. Mm -hmm, I'm sorry. Trying to find the right way to win this. It's like the, I guess the highest team team fight win using beat. The stats are that like that you most of the time you win if you initiate with beat. And there was a really good example. She should have just beat anyways while going in there because you guys would have had the advantage, and then their Zarya would have grabbed and. Which is what happened again. Um, I personally like using beat to initiate the fight. Like in that last second, I would have, I would have recommended to speed boost and beat to initiate the fight because you guys will have a lot more health. You. And you all would call one target and they'll die unless if they grab. But the thing is, if you don't beat in the first place, they'll grab anyway. So it just, it doesn't matter if you initiate with beat or not. They just have to grab because it's the last fight. Um, I don't know if this could have been a thing, but maybe, maybe a, a hog instead of a diva. Just cause... Yeah, that's... Yeah. Besides that, Luc Lucio mm -hmm. Bap is... Pretty bad. It's okay. Though, I, I feel like... I didn't think there was, like... Lucio Bob, I don't think does much healing. Yeah, like, that's that's why I always say you always want like Bap on or Bap Mercy, because like Bap Lucio Bap Zen just doesn't provide enough. Just and yeah. Bap Moira is just Moira is just at this moment kind of underwhelming. Yeah. So she, she just isn't really considered there. So yeah, I I would have I would have much rather seen a. I'll say, I'll say, I think if you tr if you trusted Ben being a mm -hmm. pretty decent widow, then I would say Mercy because damage boosting the widow is actually very strong, and is will it? help. Yeah, it actually. I mean, I I, think, I know health say... against tanks, but like, you one shot people anyway, so I didn't think it was like it didn't matter too much. Yeah, I personally think it it puts a lot more pressure on the enemy team and it and it makes their tanks a lot like it's a lot easier to hit them and you do a lot more damage anyways mm. and plus either way if your widow gets dived mercy is allowed to like just use use her abilities and not like to like help heal but at the same time keep herself safe just because she has a lot of um movement so, uh, abilities. if i recall correctly this is where they start steamrolling us Sorry, I was kind of caught up in my talking. If you want to, you can like try to move back, and I want to, and I can see like uh, how you lost this in the first place. Well, that's a no, no sign. Wait, so let me show you my positioning. I was over there to the right. Yeah, that's fine positioning. Yeah, but the problem is there. I got too easily dived, and I made myself a longer escape route than what I should have had. Yeah, you could have. Yeah, where you are right now. If you were there initially, like on those stairs where the Winston bubble is right now, could have been better because you could still have a line of sight on them. Yeah. And only your head would be peeking, and they, and you could still do all your shots. Yeah. Also, you have leap, so you could, if you really have to, just use your leap to go directly back on point. Yeah. 
with your team. So we lose to this Genji. No, we don't. We lose to the Sombra and the Genji combined. What comp would you? What comp counters like their comp right now? The Sombra Genji dive. Ah. Uh... This is a very hard one to find because they have nano blade, so you de you most definitely want a comp. Uh, you de you most definitely want a defensive ult. Well, yeah. Most likely trance, because beat is beat is just so underwhelming compared to nano if blade. You, if you on a grenade and then trance, you survive through the nano blade one shot combo. Um. I think so. I I'm I'm not quite sure. I do know it does a lot of the combo does a lot of damage. Like the slash dash does like I heard I think like over like 250. So it's they do so it 175 or 275 255. 180 Sorry, you cut out 250 what? 255 damage. That's how much it does. Slash slash. Yeah. I think... I personally don't think so. I think the slash and dash is just... It's basically like an animation cancel. It Because it, it, it cancels like your, the rest of the, the slash. So... Because like, it's yeah. weird, but like it only counts as like a hit halfway during the slash. Okay. So if you do like... If you hit the halfway mark where it does the thing and then you dash... Yeah, I, I believe it'd still kill through on a trance. I see. It's just that you gotta, you gotta make sure you're like in a good. Normally, their Genji would dash up, then the Nano, the Genji, and then he'd bat dash back down. Mm -hmm. That obviously that doesn't allow you to do the slash dash combo. Yeah. So I'm just so, but mm -hmm. if they just nano the Genji. Do you think Wait, running a counter dive comp would have worked? Like we did. We ran Lucio Moira, normal dive tanks, and then Genji Tracer. It's hard to say this, but like Moira is so underwhelming right now, but like I understand Luke is Moira. Yeah. Player. Also, like but... in general, like is there any heroes that you think people should learn in case we are in lack of like flexibility? Um, I do believe the supports should be able to flex to not uh, to almost like any support or at least the main support players mm -hmm. flex the main support and the second support flex the second support. The tanks you the tanks you should, but there are some tanks that you can just take out of the equation, or there's some tanks that. You don't really that don't need as much of a doesn't have as much of a skill cap something like cog or something like that. What about like our DPS specifically hit scan DPS? Cause our projectile like, DPS is pretty good, like they're pretty flexible. But then like our hit scan DPS, like Caleb's limited to a few heroes and Ben's limited to more than a few heroes, but they're not like higher leveled. Like what heroes do you think hit scan players should? focus on the most um mccree's in a very strong place i certainly believe that mccree just because of mccree's buff it already he's already good at tr it makes him a lot better at treading tanks and if they have like a fair or something or someone that needs to be stunned mccree's just all around probably like the best hit scan at the moment so mccree should definitely be like learned it's a lot easier than people think just because in in this game and not in this game but like most of the time you can get away with aiming ahead of the target and clicking when they go on your crosshair rather than doing like full-on flicks or tracking it's all good